Installing your Unity Infant Carrier with your vehicle seatbelt. Suitable for use from birth to approximately 12 months. You can use this carrier until your child's shoulders have reached the upper height marker. Britax recommends that you keep your child in a rearward facing restraint for as long as possible. Visit the Britax website for rear facing car seat options. Remove the carrier from your base. Squeeze the release latch and lift away from the base. Place the base of the Unity on your vehicle seat. Make adjustments to the angle, ensuring the indicator line is parallel with the road surface. Extend your seatbelt and thread through the seatbelt guides. Engage your vehicle seatbelt buckle and remove excess slack from the seatbelt. Prepare your carrier for your baby by checking the fitment of the harness. The shoulder straps must be in the slots which are nearest to your baby's shoulders not lower than their shoulders. The crotch strap can also be adjusted to prevent your baby from slipping down or slumping. It should sit high so the buckle is on the pelvis area. Place your child in the carrier to check for fitment of crotch and shoulder straps. Make note of the positions that will be correct for your baby. The crotch slot closest to the harness is the smallest baby setting. As your child gets larger, Adjust to slot 2 and slot 1 position. To adjust the crotch strap, lift your carrier cover to reveal the crotch strap slot. From the inside of the carrier, turn the crotch 3 bar slide and push it through each slot until it is free from the carrier. Locate the desired slot and thread the strap through the shell cover and padded insert if you're using one. To adjust the shoulder straps, turn the carrier over and remove the straps from the metal connector. From the front of the carrier, Pull out the shoulder straps and then locate them in the slots that are nearest to your baby's shoulders. Thread the straps back through the carrier, cover and insert if you're using it. Turn the carrier over and reattach the straps to the metal connector. Make sure the straps are in the same height position and that they are not twisted. Your carrier is now adjusted for your child. Press your harness adjuster to extend the length of the harness. Place your baby in the carrier. Place each arm through the shoulder strap of the harness. Arms and legs must be free and not bound. The legs must sit on each side of the crotch strap. Fit either of the harness buckle tongues. You will hear a click when both tongues are fully engaged. Remove the slack from the lap straps and pull the adjuster strap to remove excess slack. Place your carrier over the base and lower it into place. You will hear a click when it's engaged. Attach your top tether to the vehicle upper anchor point. Lengthen the top tether. Spread your tether through the inside of the carrier and around the front through the guides on either side. Tighten your tether to remove excess slack. The tether should be taut, but not lifting the carrier off the vehicle seat. Keep the excess tether in the provided storage pocket. You are now ready to travel. Useful tips for getting out and about. Your carrier is equipped with a rotating handle. At the base of the handle, there are two large buttons which allow you to adjust to three positions. One, carry. Two, rocking and three, non-rocking. Your carrier is equipped with Britax click and go adapters for fitment with compatible strollers. Check the Britax website for compatible products.